Hi, this is Paul, and today I'm in my golf cave, and what the plan is to do bag mapping with GS Pro. This is the beta version of GS Pro. Bag mapping is not available through the regular version, so if you do have GS Pro, make sure you download the beta version if you want to do what I'm about to do. Uh, bag mapping is basically going through each of your clubs that you have in your golf bag, hitting five shots with each, and then it will average the distance of each club. So for instance, you might have a nine iron at 118 yards, and then your eight iron might be 134, and your seven iron 150, that sort of thing. You get to learn the distances between clubs, and better than that, possibly, you get to learn which clubs you may be uh, failing at. And I'm failing at a couple of hybrid clubs, at least for my last bag mapping. Uh, you might be able to see this quickly here. So basically, I'll show you the bag mapping, uh, how you get into it with the GS Pro Beta, and then. Uh, I'll go through hitting all my clubs, won't record that, and we'll come back. Okay, so what you have to do is just to get into GS Pro, go into settings, and then you'll see bag. This is the last time around that I did the bag mapping. And no, I don't hit the ball a terrible distance, uh, as you can see by this, um, but I do all right. With the exception of, look at my four hybrid, 163 yards, my five hybrid at 161, and six hybrid at 160, which leads into my seven at 157. But uh, you know, my three hybrid seem to do okay. But these clubs here with these uh, four, five, and six hybrid basically are going just about the same distance. That's why I am going to do the bag mapping again, uh, if you'd like, and you're in GS Pro Beta, you can zero out each of these clubs. You can also click down here and change the club. For instance, if you don't carry a driver, but you carry a two wood, you can insert that here. So um, anyway, what I'm going to do is to click on start bag mapping it's going to take uh yeah, it might take about 15 20 seconds or so uh to bring it up and then once you can see this once the driving range is showing here all i have to do is go over to bag mapper and click begin now i'm starting with my lob wedge i've Got one out of five shots. If you hit a poor shot, you can delete the last shot. Uh, so long as you get it before you hit the next shot. So what I'm going to do is I have my lab wedge here. And let's get the ball in place. We'll just hit one shot and then I'll stop the recording. Thin. Hit that thin. So I will delete that one and show you how it should be done. Now, what happens for me, unfortunately, uh, here is that uh, I need to bring my impact screen a little closer to me because I'm afraid of hitting up above here, which I've done on some occasions. So I'm always wary about doing that, but get it done right anyway, right? Okay. Oh, that was a good shot. All right, so I typically hit this about 68 yards or so, give or take on average, 66. We're off and running. I'll stop the video now. We'll come back in a bit. 
All right, we're back again. I just hit my driver. Worn out. I did not allow enough time in between shots. Basically, hit a shot, picked up the ball, put it down, hit a shot. I did delete a few, especially when it came to my three hybrid. By the time I was hitting my three hybrid, I was absolutely worn out. You can see the numbers there. I don't think I have to step away. I think the, uh, it picks it up from the laptop. But, um, yeah, uh, driver 208, I think I averaged 211 last time. I hit one of my drives, I believe, 182 yards or so. My last drive, probably went about 227, so that made up for that. Um, but, yeah, again, five hybrid, three hybrid, four hybrid, all so very similar in distance. I need to find out what's going on with that. Um, yeah, kind of uh, perturbs me. Uh, what I should have done and I neg neglected to do is before the last shot that you hit, for me it was the driver, before the last shot I couldn't have downloaded all of the information in regards to ball speed and launch angle and all of that information to see what I'm looking like at uh, with my five hybrid, four hybrid, and three hybrid. I did notice that I have heavier uh, grips on my four and five hybrid. They are uh, closer to 50 gram grips versus, um, and, and this champ key here is probably about 48, I'm guessing. Uh, but I do have some clubs that I'm using golf pride on you may need to take that uh, four and five hybrid and take a look and put golf pride grips on, possibly, because they're 25 gram grips. Yes, it'll change the club weight, uh, but uh, it may be what I have to do to get more distance out of those clubs. Anyway, I'm going off, but I had fun. Thanks for joining me in my golf game today. Appreciate it.